Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking on a new challenge. Thank you for the comments. Comments, because I guess there's two. We're using the Calgary Flames. I'm sorry, comment person, because it's not a draft. I know that you wanted it to be a draft, but I'm using the Flames anyway. So yeah, that is the reason for Calgary today. And obviously the challenge is going to be that every time we get shut out, our best player has to go. And I know I've been hearing a lot about Kachuk recently, so... Maybe he'll be moved by the time this video comes out, but maybe not. Well, let's go ahead and start our career and see if we get shut out a lot. I really don't know how often this is going to happen. I don't really pay attention to shutouts that much, more so wins and losses, so I'm kind of curious. Here's the squadron, the Calgary Flames. This is who we got to our name. I am using a custom roster. I can't remember the name of it right now, but I just... I'm on PS5 and I sorted by date and took one of the recent ones that said that it had the updates. So anyway, let's run through the year, see how many times we get shut out. I suppose in the instance that there is a tie that I get to pick which player I trade because technically, you know, there's still the same amount of points. Anaheim, how will this one go? Ooh, all right. That Capitals game was very close, but other than that, we seem to be holding our own here. We have not gotten shut out just yet. We are 5-2-1. and one. Not a bad start. Oh, okay. There we go. And it's gonna be Lindholm. Assuming no one's tied with him. Let's go in and find out. I'm curious to see because it's not too... Oh, no, he's leading. All right. Lindholm, you're gone. I don't know why, but Sebastian's trade value isn't that crazy. We might be able to get him here. I doubt this will go through. I'll try it. I don't think it's going to go through one for one. Too far off, but we should be able to make this happen. What if I add in a next year's third? Oh, Sweeney, just a touch. We're right there. I'll just give you this year's seventh. There we go. Ta-da! Really? Next year's sixth ought to do the trick? Yes, it does. I don't think we had a plus three before, so that's an improvement. He is leading our team, though, so if we end up getting shut out again soon, he's probably going to have to go. That was awfully close. 7-1-L to the Dallas Stars. They dummied us. Wow. No! Montreal beat us 2-0. All right, time to make another move. Who is it going to be? It's Sebastian. Unless someone's tied with him. Oh, not even close. I might be able to get Stamkos. He's 90 overall, 89. This might go through one for one. Looking at the value, maybe not, but yes, it does. Cool. We still got a plus three on line number one, but it doesn't really seem to be doing much for us at the moment because our record is not outstanding by any standard. Chucky's the new point leader at this point, though, so if we lose again soon, it might be him that is packing. It almost was against the Leafs there. It almost was against the Senators. Holy. That was two very close calls in a row. Oh, that scared me so much. I saw the zero and I panicked. All right, the boys are waking up now. We're starting to do a little bit better, and I should never say anything anything because every time I do we end up losing at least we're not getting shut out am I right <laughs> not yet anyway it will happen it's bound to happen it's going to happen very close call against Nashville there we end up beating the Leafs two to one we got Columbus up next here and that will be three to two L but we got two goals so no trades happening today how many two one losses have we had it's actually scary another one against Winnipeg we are having an insane amount of close calls, another one. Might as well make it three in a row. Or do that. That works too, I suppose. Tampa Bay? Come on. No. I like this challenge a lot more than the other ones I've been doing because, yeah, we've made a couple, maybe a few trades. I think a couple. And the other one is just you make trades all the time. I mean, if we only end up making two trades the whole video, then that's kind of unfortunate. But it's the way she goes sometimes, you know? Oh, oh my word, that scared me. Every time I see a goose egg on the screen, it just immediately turns to panic. And then I look back later to see if it was a W or an L. I just immediately assume it was an L. I don't know why. We're coming up on the trade deadline already. We only have one, two, two games where we've been shut out. And a lot of extremely close calls. Three more opportunities here before the deadline. Make that two. Buffalo Sabres. Okay, Vancouver is the last chance. Will they make us make a deadline move? No, they will not. I'm going to just set us to a buyer, I suppose, but we are not making any moves here. We are simply seeing who is available just for fun because we can. Vancouver getting a first and Harper in exchange for JT Miller. Any other ones? Yes, Zadina and Truba headed to Chicago for a first Bowden and Sarilla. Sarilla? 
Sarah, I don't know. I'm sorry. Let's see if we get shut out here after the trade deadline. Obviously, we can't make any moves, but it is possible, I suppose, that we get shut out and we would have had to have made a move. But now we no longer do because of the fact that we are no longer able to make trades. No, we ended up not getting shut out at all here. So that was a good year from the Calgary Flames. Only two games where we were scoreless and had to make a maneuver. And we got that guy as a result of those two L's. We finished second in the Pacific Division with 93 points and 44 wins. Which is not really spectacular. I guess we had a bit of a weak division. If we check out the entire league, Carolina got 110 after they got Lindholm. Did they have Lindholm to begin with? Did they trade Lindholm to the Calgary Flames? Okay, I'm not crazy. He was drafted by Carolina. I thought so. We finished 11th in the league. That's actually pretty solid. I thought we'd be lower than that. And it was the top 16 teams that made it as well. Stammy had the most points with 72. What a great, what a phenomenal number to get. You love that. I love that. Man's only played 81 games as well. Toffoli put up 66. Monahan with 63. Chucky with 61. I don't know what happened to him. Mangiapane put up 58. Coleman 51. Let's just go through the entire roster here. How about goalies? How'd you do, Markstrom? He went 38, 30, and 5 with two shutouts and a 913. Daniel. Holy. Back at it again with the white vans. Frederick. Anderson led the league with 44 wins and he had a 915 save percentage. We got a 921 from Andre. That's, you know, pretty good, I suppose. Four shutouts, eight shutouts from Anderson and seven from Omar. Yossi lit it up this year. He got a nice amount of assists and 84 points. He is the only defenseman to not only break 70, but also break 80. Hamilton's the next closest with a nice amount of points. Shabbat, 66. We got 61 out of Carlson and then 60 from McAvoy, Doughty, and Petrangelo. Oh, you would. You would. The Art Ross winner is Lindholm with 93 points, 77 hamburger helpers. What a joke. I don't even know how many of you get that reference, by the way, the hamburger helper thing, but it's just sort of like a, it's a dinner, essentially. I'm sure you guys know by now that I just like to pronounce everything weird or say everything weird. Like, I, I don't ever call them assists. It's either an apple or a hamburger helper, a helper, something like that, but it is never an assist. I'll tell you that for free. Crosby and McDusty both got 91. We got 89 from Jackery. Drysaddle put up 87. And then again, we have a big list of three here, except it's for 86 instead of was it 60 for defense, I believe? Sveshnikov, Kane, and Marchand all putting up 86. All right, let's do this, Calgary. It is playoff time. How will we do against these San Jose Sharks? Okay, we're 2-1. and one. I mean, 1-2. and two. That's not that bad. We are now 2-2. Two and two. San Jose game. Ah, uh, they could beat us here. Let's jump into it. I'm kind of curious to see how this goes. First period. Ooh, not great. Two goals from Toffoli, though. He wants to win. Second period. E. Let's just go by the times eight speed here. See if Calgary can claw back into this. Villamaki, what a legend. Rooney getting some depth goal scoring here in the third period of a potential eliminating hockey game. A power play for the good guys. We weren't able to... Really? Really? We don't deserve to win. Uh, oh! Oh! Okay! All right, we still don't deserve to win after not capitalizing on that power play and letting them score right after, but we're going to do it. We're still going to do it. There's your three stars of the game, in case you were curious. Will the lads make it past round one against San Jose? First period. Not great. Second period. Oh, very great. Coleman, Stamkos, and Lucic going to put us up by one. Heading into the third and potentially final game of the season. Let's see how we do. Not the third game of the season. That doesn't even make sense. I can't. Okay. We've already concluded. I've already stated. I just can't speak anymore. So let's just ignore that for now. And we are going to win. Are we going to win? We did it. That is wild. Oh, there's your three stars. What a roller coaster that series was. We got the Golden Knights here in round two. Looking pretty similar. How will we do in this one? We will tie it up again at 2-2. Two -two. Game five. Oh, Let's go. Will there be a game seven? Oh, there will. There will indeed. How will this game seven go? First period. All right. No score. Second. E. We're down by two, but we are not out. Don't you dare let them capitalize. Good stuff. Come on, Calgary. Here we go. No. Oh, it's done. The game's done. 
four nothing. We have we had a five on three. We couldn't score. Once again, we don't deserve to win. Oh, there's your three stars. Well, you know what? I consider that a success. It was a good run. We only had to make two trades, and the Golden Knights go on to win the Stanley Cup. So, there you go. The team that put us out went on to win the trophy. See, people see that as a good thing. I've said this before. People are like, oh, they went on to win the Cups. So, you know, at least we lost to the best team. I'm like, no, that means if we beat them, we could have won it. Saying it's just a game is such a weak mindset. I think that's what he said, didn't he? Ah, the phrase, it's just a game. I was close enough. It's only game. Yeah, we saw that one. Golden Knights with the Stanley Cup. President's Trophy goes to the Carolina Hurricanes, of course, obviously. And I am not ready for this one. Individual awards. Yeah. Sure, give them the heart as well. Might as well give them the rest. Let's just have a clean sweep for individual trophies, even the ones he doesn't qualify for. The Norris goes to Yossi, ADB with the Lady Bing. Newhook gets the Calder. Yeah, let's just scroll through these quick here. Of course he gets another one. Of course he does. This is how the playoffs went down. Not a single sweep in the West, but two in the East there in the first round, Tampa Bay and Florida. So I guess the state of Florida is having one big sweep there. But yeah. That's gonna do it. Well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your comments and keep coming up with these great ideas. This one didn't really have a lot of trades. It only had two, which is significantly different from the other ones that have plenty of trades. But yeah, it's still a good one. I still had fun and there was the possibility that we got shut out more. The amount of 2-1 games that we had is, you can't even believe it. You can't make that stuff up. Well, again, thank you for watching guys. I appreciate you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any other ideas for conditional trades, videos, stuff like this, just let me know down below, and I will see you soon.